Hello everyone, I'm Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. Today it's not a busy book, but I'm going to share three random activities which I made like on the go. And uh, so these kind of activities I keep doing with my girls and they don't get documented anywhere because they are not in the proper format. I just feel like doing them and do it. So I just thought I'll make a video of these three activities which uh, we did this week. We'll be, I mean like, going to do for the next uh, one or two months. But these are like on the spot activities. They're not proper format or anything, but... Uh, I'll show you so first one is, is a number board so uh, I had created a video already of how I used the bingo cards which I got from a dollar store to uh, do number recognition you know uh, recognizing the numbers reading the numbers uh, I spy with the numbers uh, I'll link that video there so this is how we use the bingo cards now I still have some spare left after my both the girls have learned recognizing the numbers now my younger one needs to know the placement she knows but it's confusing so what i have done i've taken a paper made one to 90 and i have not written any numbers in it i just had written one and ten just to explain to her that this is one to 90 number chart and now what every uh like once in a week i give on the maths day i give her one of the bingo card she has to cut it the numbers and then paste them accordingly like this one uh, is a result of two days so two bingo cards have gone and again when she gets uh, next week when we are doing it she will cut out a number figure out its position and trust me it's very confusing we had few meltdowns but then i let her go to her room because their room has a hundred chart and she looked at there then you know revise the numbers position came back put the numbers so just a process of making uh, her own 1 to 90 chart using the bingo cards that way she focuses she is cutting and pasting doing the motor skills anyway she loves doing all those kind of stuff and then pasting them so you know recognizing that you know 13 20 33 so uh before this i have already made her uh, write 1 to 90 in like a uh, notebook kind of thing so when i presented her this activity she said mama i'll write i don't want to i know you know i write 1 to 90 because that time she was working 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. She was working in the sequence. Now there is no sequence. It's a random number somewhere. She has to think that where will it fit in the boat. Like for 33 and 44 is very confusing. She was putting 33 and 44 like that. And I told her it's wrong. She has to figure out. So she went to the room and I don't know what she thought. But then she corrected that 33 and 44. Though this look, they look similar. It goes like that. It's just a process of you know letting her do an independent activity with cutting and pasting and figuring out the number sequence herself it cannot be taught it has to be processed in her mind so that is what we are doing like once in a week or twice in a week i give her this one and you know let her figure it out this activity second one is a spatial reasoning so if you have seen in the last videos i have stopped doing spatial reasoning or logic kind of questions with my girls because you know they have uh, done quite good social uh, spatial reasoning questions but now this is the uh, extreme level of mind or spatial reasoning which i want to give it to my younger one the elder one can do it she has enough attention and span but my younger one does not have that much focus she'll get lost in third or fourth row i'm very sure so in this one the same thing i have made one i mean i had taken the full math notebook which they have right i took a paper of there mark the rows and columns so that when i'm talking to her, i can tell her that check the row number five in column four and then she has to do like this and this and check which number i'm talking about if she goofs up but initially i'll just give her this page and tell her to replicate the page here and i'll see does she has the focus or how much she can do it and talk about rows and columns again because this concept is still not very clear in her mind and just need a lot of attention so i love doing these activities it's an extreme spatial listening activity for my younger one who does not have much attention span but we'll try it's free of course so i don't mind if and if she miss the activity and the last one the activity which i created tonight is a spelling activity so we do these activities randomly uh this cutting pasting but now today i made a notebook kind of thing i had an old diary of 1999 somehow i found it in my storeroom so what i have done is like whatever workbooks they have right they had tracing workbooks coloring books and all those things anyways they go to trash once they're done with them or like recycled but they have a lot of pictures in them i usually cut and collect them for my creating activities and now this one is a spelling activity so this is for my elder one i have divided this diary into two parts one i starting from the back 
so from the back will start the activities of my like this ones my younger one and from the front are the activities for my elder one very simple i have cut out the pictures and i know the phonics level of my kids i know the spelling level of my kids i know my elder one can write the spelling herself because she knows the spelling of ch and air she can do it my younger one would not so i have made this kind of spelling activity book and i have numbered them that you know uh, the day we have a spell work so we do one activity per, per day okay so if it's a maths we just do a maths busy book if it's a spelling we'll do 10 words so this one name numbered them this has 11 by the way 10 11 that kind of so one day i'll give my uh, one day of the schooling i will give my elder one to spell these 11 words they're very simple and again i'm not expecting her to know everything but then this is how we do spelling i'll help her if she goofs up and i'll tell her revise the phonic rules again these mostly follow the phonic rules or very simple sight words they're, they're not very complicated and like tomato radish carrot goat snake grapes cheese all these things so i have created a lot of i mean whatever stickers i had at finish today so this also as i'm progressing further the words will get complicated because we will be doing this all for the next three or four months and probably she'll pick up spelling much better like 20 and all these things and then counting also because this was an old math workbook they have which they had done uh, this class one workbook we had and i did cut up the pictures from there pasted them some phonics workbooks pictures so this all so these are left i didn't have more stickers these are the complicated ones which i assume that she will do when she's done like watch guitar shoe cattle elephant necklace kitchen study blue or crayon Dana. so these are the complicated words which i pasted in the end that maybe one day she'll write to these ones so these are the spell books for my elder one and this is for my younger one very simple drill uh, spout cherry so here the thing is that i know that she doesn't know the spelling of owl she can make sure owl and the last word here cherry she would know, not know the spelling so che just have to make ch eh. so again if she needs help help her but again i have tried to make things simpler for her uh, you know wherever is two was a little complicated rule or uh, trick words i have tried to help her mainly it's first or last words or common words or uh, for next words so very very simple so mainly they are cvc diagraph so now it's one go i have made all these activities so spelling will do by this one only i would not create much uh, spelling activities there because i'm not good at drawing much and i think i can create much more activity or spelling words options when i use these uh, pages from the old workbooks so that's how i've made so these are the three activities we are going to do for the next few months with my girls and hope you enjoyed them bye bye